Hey guys, this is Dion here with Your Guitar Academy and in this lesson we're going to take a look at this previous piece and we're going to totally flip it on its head and swap out some of the chords that I've given you in it for some of the other cage shapes that we've learnt so far in this course. So this is just going to be me demonstrating to you how powerful and how useful the cage system is and how it just gives you the freedom of choice and to make decisions on the fly when you get really, really comfortable with it. So grab the guitar and let's give it a go. Before we get started, don't forget to head over to the website to find all additional materials including tab, backing tracks and also the lesson write-ups and also please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment and we'd love to hear how you're getting on. So I'm just going to do this completely on the fly okay? and we're going to see what we can come up with. So I'm going to take both of these sections of this piece that we've looked at in this, in this uh, unit and I'm going to substitute them, each of the chords, for a different chord shape that we've previously studied, most of which in, in unit one, of course. Um, so let's take a look here. Uh, that wasn't the first chord, the first chord was actually D. But remember, it's an A shape, okay? So what if I played this chord, instead of an A, uh, an a shape, I could play it as this D shape here. However, no, let's play it as an E shape. Okay, because that gives us, you know, this nice, idea that we had earlier, you know, these little embellishments here, this is what it's all about, you know, harnessing these embellishments, having sort of a few go-to ones per chord, and really just, you know, making the most of them when it comes to it. So that was our first chord was D. Then we used an E shape, but for the A chord, okay, so I'm already up here. Maybe I'll use the C shape here for that A chord, okay, remember this here is an A. Remember, we've got that box four at our disposal there. You know, so, so far that gives me... Okay, that, that nice, that's really, really nice sounding uh, movement actually, so... Remember, the next chord was G. So obviously now we're up at this part of the neck, it's quite impractical to jump all the way down there. So maybe I could use the A shape there. So I could go. Okay, so that's that section so far. Remember, we also had a C chord at 1.2. Let's see what's going to work for that. So. So I could use the D shape, I could use the full C shape, that means uh, sliding up quite a bit though, uh, which isn't too bad, it's only four frets. I could just use the original one because it kind of makes sense, it's near my hand, so uh, let's see. That works quite nicely, I'll probably go for that one, so let's go. And that sounds really nice because we've got this movement on top, this chromatic, which is really, really nice for the ear. So I'm just going to have a jam around that and see how I can embellish it. Uh, let's go. So three, four, and wrong chord. Let's do it again. cheated though, I used an A shape for the A, but that's okay. And the original version uh, was this. Now the new version.
Yeah, so it just gives you an idea. Again, I'm not, you know, I'm not thinking too hard about the embellishments here. The way that I approach it if I'm doing it on the fly is I just visualize those shapes within the chord. And I, you know, you find these little go-to things that you like the sound of that really work for you. Um, and as long as I said you're keeping that rhythmic pulse, that's the most important thing. Okay, so what about the B section? So for the B section, we only had one other minor shape, if you remember. So the B section in this one, the, the original B section, sorry, was the A minor shape. So we could use the E minor shape here. And that gives you tons of, you know, uh, possibilities in position one. So you could go. And then we had an A chord after that again. Okay, so I would probably use the A shape there. So it's nice and easy movement to go. Then we're back to a D. So let's play them both back to back and we can hear what it sounds like. So the original version with some drums, let's have a go. Two, three, and four, and. Now let's try the new version, if I can remember all of them. Here we go. Oh, in fact, I forgot the C chord. So here we go, let's have another go. Here we go. Yeah, that's the first part of the A section. Now we bring in a C. And now the B section. Now the original. And there you go. So that just kind of gives you an idea from a kind of compositional standpoint, how powerful this can be and just how useful it is as a, a guitar player to be able to find these chords in different areas all over the neck. Uh, you can get some really cool sounds and really kind of keep things nice and fresh for some simple chord progressions. So that's about it for this unit. So we've got this first piece, this kind of laid back chilled style piece. Uh, we do have another piece later on in the course as well, which is a more of a kind of single note chunky funk rock thing. But take your time with this, digest those chord shapes and their embellishments, and I'll see you in the next unit. That's it for this lesson. If you want to go to the next lesson, you can click here. And if you want to go back to the beginning of the course, you can click here. And also please like and subscribe, and also leave us a comment, any questions, we love to hear how you're getting on.